name's Narita Tinnock. I live on the Central Coast, Carriong on the Central Coast. Um, I've lived here for a few years now. Um, always lived on the Central Coast, just a good place to live, nice beaches. Um, living at Carriong, probably the biggest benefit is being so close to everything, you know, right on the freeway. So to get to Hornsby is 45 minutes easy. Um, working at Tuggeros straight along the freeway takes me 20 minutes. It just is a central location that um, it's got nice parks, there's lots of family here um, as well as some friends that I went to high school with so I guess everything's just here, it's close um, and it's convenient. I um, work at Youth Connections at Tugra which is a youth organisation based on the Central Coast. I am currently working in the group training company side of it so working with apprentices and trainees and getting them into employment but I am moving into a new role into the HR role but still very much working with the young people on the central coast. Um, we do have a youth reference group as well which I'm part of and that is basically um, doing community organisation so it's you know, fundraising, um, looking at community events and seeing how we can be involved and it's any young person aged between the ages of 15 and 25 that would like to be involved in the community events that we're part of. So some of the things I've been involved in with youth outside of the region is um, through local MPs being asked to represent the Central Coast at um, Parliament in Canberra. So discussing youth issues with um, Minister Ellis at the time and um, sitting on a round table with young people from all around Australia and just discussing what we thought was most important in our area. So myself and another member from Youth Connections or the Youth Reference Group went down to Canberra and we were able to just openly explain what we thought were the issues on our, um, you know, in our area. Um, and then we've also been to Sydney Parliament House and we met with the Liberals the, when it was the state election and that was more of a question and answer forum. But again, um, Almost the Central Coast is almost, you know, the place in between Sydney and Newcastle. So when we went to Sydney, it was four members from our youth reference group that attended the question and answer forum, and that was our only representation of the Central Coast. So we thought it was important to go down there and just tell the, um, you know, up and coming leaders what we thought was important, and it proved, you know, a good thing that we went down there because they ended up coming up to the Central Coast and having their only question and answer forum on the Central Coast at Tugra which we helped organise um, and that was really good for our local youth to be able to express their concerns and what they thought about the Central Coast and to find out what their plan was. I mean I love my work, I love what I'm doing, I love working with young, the young people and, and just seeing how they transition from you know one extreme to the other so some of the young people might be really disengaged at school and they come in maybe every week to see us and um, they're just really trying to get employment or get into education and that's a big motivation I guess to see that someone is actually trying and they do want to do something and they do want your help as well so that's a big motivation um, but just also the, the people as well like um, even some of our apprentices and trainees you know some of them are good laugh sometimes um, and, and they're just you know again a motivation of they're willing to get out there you know they live on the central coast some of them travel to Newcastle some of them travel to Sydney and they're motivating just in themselves. I hope for our community that um, we can become our own identity, we can become the Central Coast, um, that we can be a um, prominent, I guess, region in education. Um, we can have our hopefully better transport. Um, you know, we can for awards nights and things, instead of being part of Hunter Central Coast, we can be the Central Coast and we can have our own Apprentice or Trainee of the Year, we can have our own, you know, Student of the Year. So I really hope that we can be our own region um, and I think we definitely have the capacity to do that. If I could inspire our community or the region's youth, I would say um, just to try, try your best. Um, not everyone's going to make it to year 12, but you know, if you can try where, while you're at school, um, you know, think about your future, think about the education that you have, think about going to TAFE, thinking about alternate education if, if you haven't got to that year 10. Um, and just sort of think about the future and think about how you can get to where you want to be. And it doesn't have to be going to university, it doesn't have to be getting a HSC, it just has to be willing to have a go. Um, you know, do work experience, do volunteer work, do as much as you can just to actually get to that spot that you want to be. Um, that's probably the biggest inspiration. Um, and that's something that I do every day, you know, help people get to where they want to be. Start somewhere, 
start with something, start with some training, start with some volunteer work and everything you do is going to help you get to that ultimate goal at the end.